She was very smart, but women weren't allowed at any place whatsoever, in, in, at any table except the dining room table. And they, she had been his confidant. She had been his supporter from the beginning, had found him and honed him to be what he was. She came from a strong political family in the South. And she was, at the beginning, much more politically savvy than he. He was distant and um, he remote and, you know, he had terribly, terrible depressive episodes early on in their marriage. And she, it was her insistence that he was brilliant and that she would never let up on that and tell him, you know, that he, how brilliant he is and what he's going to do. And she had no doubt, she had never had any doubt that this, he was going to be president and he was going to change the world. And he did. An amazing, amazing artist, Joanne is. And we worked very, very closely because we wanted to have Mary's measurements. So, we would we kept measuring my waist you know and not rarely will you hear an actress go oh my goodness my waist is an inch bigger yes you know but that's what we would do well do you know that joanna went and almost all of mary's costumes are exact uh, replicas of of the clothes that she was able to find uh, photographs of um, or paintings of so many of those costumes, many of those things, including the final dress that you see Mary in, even though it's just ever so briefly um, uh, when he's dying, is exactly uh, a, a replica of, of what she had on. I am so enriched by having the opportunity to work so closely with him and Stephen. But he, from the time I got the role, and it became released to the press, which was months, a little, few months after that. He and I started texting each other um, it, regularly, very regularly, but completely in character. The, the, it was very hard to do because I had, you had to think of the dialect of the time, of how, it, how, how people spoke. And, they, and so you re <laughs> I really had to work at it. And he would send me limericks, and he would say this or that, and we would just, out of the blue, something. And, uh, and it was constant, and, and it, it began to build a, a, a small thread of intimacy. The person who taught him a great deal about orating, even though he was a magnificent speaker, was Mary. Um, stand up straight, you don't have the right thing on, you know, and, and tried to um, coach him early in their in their lives together it resonates so enormously on a world level about the difficulty the messiness the complicated nature of democracy and how long it takes to really have it work and how hard you have to work to keep it working and uh, it, it, that resonates all over the world right now all over the world and you have to want this noble notion of, of people governing themselves. You have to want it more than life. He's simply a, a magnificent director. I, I have been lucky enough to work with several really fine directors. Stephen is just as good as it gets in my way of thinking. He um, He's, um, he's relentless, but he's willing to give up his own notion to go with another notion if he sees it. He's relentlessly detailed in, in seeing things that people don't know they're doing and say, do that, do that. He never stops. He doesn't sit back in his chair and just kind of forget the whole thing. He's always looking and thinking and seeing something else, some other way to shoot it, some other thing to offer an actor, some other notion, some other, you know, idea. 
in Mary's life it was important because she was the only real friend and confidant that she had and Elizabeth Keckley was a seamstress and when Mary got to um, DC when Mary got to Washington she wanted she didn't have any proper clothes or what Mary thought weren't proper clothes because she wanted to be regal she she felt it was necessary to represent something and so she um, asked around and the, the finest um, seamstress around they said was was Elizabeth Keckley and so she hired Elizabeth Keckley and you know Elizabeth Keckley at first was doing things for other people as well and Mary didn't like that <laughs> she wanted working just for her and so then s slowly but surely by the second term Elizabeth Keckley and Mary were, were always together he walks that fine line and you do sense this older boy that has no place you know there's a great sadness about it you know as he tries to talk to his father and his father's busy and and it's he's the only place you know Lincoln is so generous to every schmo that comes in the door and the only one he's curt with is his son and without even hesitating the absolute exquisite talent of Tony Kushner. Unbelievable, exquisite talent of Tony Kushner. How he chose to reveal some of these things that I won't even say, instead of ways we've seen it before, deciding to, to reveal certain pieces of important history or thing in, a, in another way. And, uh, and who he is, I mean, he was on the set every second. Uh, he just is stunning.